Here we go! Oh. That wasn't as quite a big a splash as I was hoping. So we begin all over again. Where do we even start? A whole new season lies ahead of us. We have absolutely nothing but the boat we arrived in. I can't tell you how weird this is to be starting all over again. Last time it was my first ever season, so things are a bit different, but you know what? We've actually started exactly the same way. I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I literally, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit lost, to be honest. I don't, oh, Mumbo's here. Everyone's here. The party is starting. I just don't know what to do. I'm, I, I've got too much to do. I went from season six and feeling like everything had been done to the whole world in front of me. I guess now we've got to do some basic resource collection and try and find somewhere to settle our first base. And I've probably chosen the worst place to start because I definitely... I'm not going to be doing anything here out in the Mesa. <laughs> I haven't found anything that isn't Mesa or Savannah. <laughs> oh, jungle. Melons. This is my lucky day. What I'm really hoping to find, and Mumbo's already got diamonds. Mumbo already has diamonds. Parrot. You don't like seeds? No, 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 no. Mr. Parrot, we are going to be best friends, and we are going to be best friends forever. How many seeds does it- Dude! How hungry are you? This little guy eats more than a family of four. Are you kidding me? He's like, yeah, I'm full, I'm out. What does- what does he want? More seeds? I could have created a hundred but no, 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 no. We're not done here. We're not done here. I'm going to force feed you seeds until you love me. Come on, boy. Yes. Woo. Best friends. Okay. Are you going to, are you going to, are you going to do the thing? Are you going to do, do the thing? Wait, where are you going? Oh, we're meant to be friends now. You, you get, the yes. Yes. I'm going to call you Professor Beak. That is your name, Professor Beak. Come on, Professor Beak. Wait, Professor Beak. No, come on. This is gonna be a nightmare, isn't it? Uh, yeah, you can't, you can't go anywhere. Here we go. Come on, Professor Beak. Let's go and find somewhere to live. Ooh. Hello. This is the, this is the kind of present that I want. And that, I'm, I'm taking this too. You know what? You can just, you could just follow me, uh, Professor Beak, because like you're kind of bad at this whole staying on my shoulder thing. So the bit of terrain that we're looking for is kind of a hill like this, but we want to look for a, a substantial one. Now. I really kind of want to go in the jungle here because it's it's just a it's really saturated. It's lush and green and I don't know. It's it's a lot more pleasant than say the mountains or extreme hills because they look so dull and cold. The other issue though with the jungle is my goodness, is it hard to get around? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, you can't get me. I eat melon in your face, Mr. Skeleton. Do you know what I don't like? Walking. And neither does Mr. Beak. Professor Beak. Dr. Beak. You know what? I haven't seen your qualifications yet. We could be looking for quite some time. Do you know what? This, this will do. This will do quite nicely. I can work with this. This will be easy enough to clear out. Let's get started. Mr. Beak. There you are. You sit there and have some seeds. Because we're about to start clearing out some of this stuff. I was clearing out my base and I actually went through all the way to the back here and I discovered something really, really amazing. So I covered it back up so I could reveal. There's like a secret little place here right through the mountain. I am totally going to do something cool with this. I don't know what yet, but this is like a little secret garden. You wouldn't know this was here unless you went specifically on this mountain. So how cool is that? Not entirely sure, but I need to continue mining stuff out. But now I've got to do something that's a little more on the boring side. As you can see, I've been collecting stuff. I have also made myself a little mine because what we got to do now is the thing you have to do at the start of every Minecraft world. Go down and find yourself some diamonds. 
or redstone, which is going to be something I learn how to use in this season. Last season, I don't know what my goal was. It was it was have fun. This season, it's have fun and redstone. Two things, two for the price of one. I hear zombies. I hear them. I'm getting close. Oh, it's. This is amazing. This is so close to my base. How close am I? Really, really close. Well, this is a great start. Just need to light this up because this is going to be an early source of XP for me. It's a wow, it's a real zombie party down there. Okay, what have we got in here? Bread, gunpowder, string, the usual. This is brilliant. We're going to save this. Hold on, I need to lay claim to this. Greens, spawner. Do not touch. Now, in order to use this, I'm going to have to transport the zombies up to where my base is. Because I don't want to have to come down here for XP. I've learnt that the hard way. Having all your farms separated is a pain in the neck. So, what we're going to do... We need to... Oh, man. I just realised we got, like, a, a whole bunch of stuff to do. So, we need to go to the nether. Because we need soul sand. Because we need a bubble elevator to take all this zombie stuff and pop it over there for us to farm. Wait, they won't spawn unless I'm close, right? How does this work? I need to do a quick a quick bit of research to find out how close you have to be to a spawner for them to start spawning. I don't know if I can get away with transporting these anywhere at all. Oh, this is so painful. I miss my elytra so much. I've done a little bit of reading and it turns out you've got to be right next to the spawner for it to produce something. So it looks like my XP farm is going to have to be down there. But in order to actually make good use of that, I've had an idea. Okay, so uh, look over here. This is one of the most beautiful locations and I didn't even really realize. There's the most gorgeous lake over here, but there's a giant dirt box. We gotta, we gotta find out what this sign says. I didn't, I didn't make this, so this means that someone has settled close by to where I am. You're a wizard, Scar. Okay, it's Scar. Good times with Scar is my neighbor, and this is a great thing. I absolutely love neighbors because I can go and see what they're up to. Although I really don't know what Scar's up to. Do you know what? Where this is, Scar's placed his base. I'm pretty sure that the mob spawner down there is probably about here. So, you know what? When Scar gets back on, we're going, we're going to, well, we're going to prank him. We, we, we better make sure he knows what it's like to be next to me at the beginning of the season. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for Scar to get on, but we're going to have to prepare because I need a lot of resources to make this work. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. All right then, let's go into the cave and we're gonna go and do some strip mining because I haven't found a single diamond. Let's go down and find ourselves something useful. I've had some serious bad luck with mining. Eight diamonds. Well, if you count, okay, I add some tools, but eight diamonds is not great. But as you can, I mean, this shows just how unlucky I've been, right? Look at how much redstone and iron blocks and everything else I got and eight diamonds. That's, that's really, really rotten luck. But as you can see, I've been making some progress. Now, I just need to get myself set up and then I can start working on the interior of this build. But it turns out, good times with Scar, who has a beard for some reason. He's working on something over here. He's working on his base. Yeah, yeah, look, he's over there. See him? See him? You see him with his beard and his big dirt ball? I think that's a dirt house. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I put this on my head. I found a parrot head and I, I put it I put it on. Hello. So, I think that the spawner is somewhere around here if my directions are correct and I think we could make we can make good use of this <laughs> and the fact that he has a giant dirt ball gives it oh this is going to be so good so now that he's on we're going to make this happen we need to go into the nether very very briefly hopefully we get good luck all I need to find is some soul sand somewhere soul sand somewhere so soul sand somewhere 
Soul sand right there. Might as well, might as well get a couple of blocks of things while we're here. We'll take some quartz for some redstoney bits. I don't want to mine too much stuff right now because I haven't got any of my enchantments yet. That's that's what I'm trying to get right now. That's why I'm trying desperately not to die. I'm trying to save my 34 levels and we're going to get our stuff enchanted, particularly the diamond pick and like the sword and stuff so that we can get going and make good use of everything that we find. Okay, and now we pop back. As you can see, I have I have actually started some farms. This is just to get me started. It's not for me. This is for the cows that I've got. I have been busy collecting a couple of cows, getting them going, and then there's uh, I need leather because you know how it goes. You need books for bookshelves. You need bookshelves to enchant. You need levels. Blah 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 blah. So that's that's going on in the background. Meanwhile, we will go down here to our zombie spawner and get them spawning for us. So. The plan is that we're going to take this spawner and we are going to turn it into a proper farm, but we're not going to use it for XP just yet. We're going to send it all the way above to where Scar is, and then we're going to get our camera account and we're going to watch Scar try and figure out what's going on. Meanwhile, just zombies are pouring out everywhere. I need to clear out all of this space around it and make sure that we light it up as we go along. We're gonna funnel them over here for the time being. So now we just need to see where this comes out for Scar's base. Scar is still online despite this taking like an hour. <laughs> we're gonna get to the surface, we're gonna see where he is, and then we're gonna reassess. I haven't seen his username and that's not a good sign because I should be approaching the surface by now. That's always a good... S no, 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 no. Oh, no. I thought I was a goner there for a second. Okay, up we go. Ah, we're really... Ooh, did he see me? He might have seen me. <laughs> I think he saw me. Okay, so that's a little bit further than I anticipated. But if we guesstimate... So we need to go maybe 50 blocks north. I have a feeling I need ice, and I definitely can't get any ice for a while. Oh dear. I didn't- maybe I didn't think all this through. I might need to make a beeline at some point for some ice. We'll see if they transport any- any sense. No! Okay, bad. Bad. Yep, bad. Okay, we're directly underneath. I don't know how direct I can be with this. Maybe we want to hide it in the jungle a little bit, just to be safe. Ah, uh, we'll go here, we'll go here. So, now we need to make the same one by one tunnel all the way to the top. You know, I really shouldn't, I know you're not supposed to dig straight down, but you also really shouldn't dig straight up either, because some gravel could come down, anything. He has absolutely no idea. Oh no, bad, 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 no, this is not the place to die. This is not a good place to die. There's a creeper there. There's a creeper around the corner. I've been... No. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. That was awful. That was really bad. And I don't even know where... I don't even know where I was. I'm in such a panic. Was this it here? Okay, that's that's the hot Oh, Scar's back up there. He's just there. He's right there. He's literally he's literally right there. We just need to know exactly where this comes out. He can probably hear me mining. Now that I think about it. I don't have stone. I didn't think this through. Let's pop our head out. Where is he? He doesn't know. This is perfect. He's right there. I think we want to hide this in the bush just over there. What we're gonna do? Ah! I don't know where he is. He's on top of that. I'm totally gonna. I'm totally gonna do this. I'm gonna. He's inside. Oh man, he has no idea. Okay, this is the spot for me. This is the spot because it. This can be properly hidden. All right, now we go straight down, all the way down to bedrock. This is the one. 
please don't be lava. Huh? Ah. Oh, I can't believe that. I. Whew. This better be worth it. This better be worth it. Okay, we're at the bottom. In theory, if we just head south from this direction, we should meet up with the existing tunnel. There it is. That's a long way to transport the zombies. That's a really long way. But nonetheless, I've committed to this now. I've I've risked far too much. We've got we've got the hole to the surface. And now we need to actually set this all up. We are going for it. I could be doing something productive, like getting diamond armor or getting enchanted. Instead, I'm pranking Scar, who hasn't even finished his big dirt house. Now, in order to make this work, I actually need to go in through the bottom and place the water in from the top. So we're going to have to do another sneakeroo. But Scar's pretty occupied with his building. He's probably not going to notice me. So if I head round the outside of this, he probably won't even see me coming. There he is. What on earth is he building? The entrance should be somewhere around here. Come on, I need you. I just need two seconds of your time away from... He's focused, he's focused. All right, we're gonna pop that there. We put the water here and down we go. Okay, job done, job done, job done. Down we go, down we go, down we go. Mission successful. <laughs> and we're safe. We got the we got the soul sand now. All we got to do is start pushing the zombies. The next part of this mission is one of the most dangerous parts of this mission. In order for this to work properly, I need to add kelp all the way up to the top. So hopefully I'm not going to drown. That would suck. And also hopefully Scar doesn't see me. If I make make it through this without Scar seeing me at all, I will be a hero. Oh no, I'm going to die, aren't I? Huh? Okay, okay, so you need to literally get to the top. I don't know where I don't know where Scar is. And then I'm gonna pop that there. I need to get enough air to make it down to the bottom. Uh-oh. And then I go down, dive, 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 dive. And the bubbles. Bubbles? The bubbles? Yeah, okay. I can't see any bubbles, but there's definitely bubbles. Sweet. That means that the the zombies are ready to go. Right now we got a lot of we got a lot of water buckets and signage to to take care of. Okay, so this in theory should work. Now, getting making my way all the way back is going to be slow. In fact, it might be faster just to go round again. I made it back. All we got to do now is actually set up the spawner in in its entirety. So now we got to put the water down and get rid of the lights and hopefully not die in the process because dying is actually quite a nightmare. It might seem like just a clip and a cut away for you, but it's about half an hour's worth of of grinding back stuff for us. <laughs> okay, let's go. And uh, the main thing that's annoying about when you die is is actually the level loss. You lose a lot of levels. Oh, the zombies are coming. The zombies are coming. This shouldn't be a, too much of an issue now, actually. Oh, whoa. It's, 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 it's spawning quite a lot now. So, all I got to do is put myself in a safe place. And they should just head on through into there. So, right. I've got my camera account on. It's spawning zombies out the wazoo. Like, really quite a lot of zombies. So, now what we do is we hide ourselves in this little pocket here, stick a light on, and let's take a look on the cam account. Here we see Scar, he's going ahead and he's doing his base. Little does he know that over here, there is a big tunnel that's soon gonna be chucking out zombies absolutely everywhere. Let's see how they're getting on. They are slowly making their way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is so perfect. So there I am. Look at me. I'm so easy. He's so handsome. So look at this. They are they're making their way through. Wow. Yeah, they don't even stop. I haven't got any any clogs in the system, any any issues. And then they get to the end and they they just pu push themselves through. And then they get sent right up to the top. And here they go. <laughs> <laughs> it worked! Oh, let's see if he figures it out. <laughs> oh 
Oh no, yeah. Scar, I didn't, I didn't mean for you to die. Not like this. Not like this. Run, Scar. If you're going to die, run. <laughs> Scar, run. Scar, run. What are you doing? Oh, he's gonna go. Look at him. One more. Oh, get, run away, Scar. Run away. He's yeah, he's fighting them. Oh, so now we got to see how long this is gonna take Scar to fix. He, he's just gonna go back to building. He hasn't even figured out that there's there's something going on. <laughs> This is hilarious. I thought he'd go, oh, why are there so many zombies coming along? Ah, oh, it is, to be fair, look, it is quite hidden. You wouldn't expect it. It doesn't look suspicious at all. This was so worth it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you, did you see that little head? No, he's just like, yeah, what's up? <laughs> he's, oh, he's close to figuring it out. He must be, is he not, is he not slightly curious where all these zombies are coming from? Where, are, where's the army at? There was loads of them. They're not quite making their way. They keep vanishing. I think they keep despawning on the way. Look, oh, there's a, there's a horde of them. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> How many of them actually make it to the end though? Oh, there goes one. They are definitely despawning while they're traveling. Ah, oh, most of them aren't making it all the way. There's a, there seems to be like a gap here where they they despawn. So I think what we could do is kind of just leave the camera count here and just see how long it takes Scar to work it all out. He's just uh, he's building away, so we'll leave him to it, shall we? Go on, Scar, you get him, you get him. I think he's looking. He's definitely. He, he, whoa, 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 what? What is going on? I had nothing to do with that. Scars? I think Scar might be looking for what's going on, but he's, um, he's definitely gone the wrong direction. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's found it. He's found it. <laughs> oh, he's found it. <laughs> oh no. He's, 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 I've been rumbled. I think we should go up and speak to him because, I mean, this was... I I've been watching this for about half an hour now. 35 minutes I've been watching Scar suffer. Absolutely hilarious. I genuinely don't know if Scar knows if I'm his neighbor or not. So maybe we'll go and reveal ourselves to him now. No, wait, he saw me. He, he saw me. He saw me uh, borrowing his wheat. Let's go. Is it? Uh, I see what you've going on, Jungle Bandit. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't they attacking? Is he just immune to them now? Whoa, 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 Scar, Scar, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> oh no! I turned it off! I turned it off, Scar! Oh no! <laughs> Hello, Jungle Bandit. <laughs> Dude, you know I'm a slow typer and I'm trying to type and the zombies are killing me over here. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, I, I've been watching you now for about 35 minutes and it, it's just, it just went from, from event to event. <laughs> How long did it take you to realize that those zombies weren't natural? Well, I mean, once the drowns started coming, I had my suspicions. The suspicions were, were had at the drowns, but my, my ability to act on this knowledge was, like, minimal. I'm like, well, that seems weird, you know? Something seems up here. And finally, okay. dude, I literally saw a zombie, like, fly out of that hole. And I'm I like... <laughs> I have been working on this for a couple of hours. Oh man! Right, I, I have officially turned it off. It's it's done. I've had my fun. Oh. Um, as a reward for your for your good patience and your uh, good sportsmanship, I will. The uh, diamond pick. I'm. Yep. I'm mm -hmm. No, I'm not gonna make you a diamond pick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any diamonds. Dude, I've been I've been mining for four hours and I found nothing. But what I will let you use is the zombie spawner that I used to prank you just now. I will let you use it um, as an XP farm. I'm going to set one up now, and then you can use it to 
uh, repair the tools that you currently don't own. Do you, do you know where my base is? I'm I'm your, I'm your next door neighbor. I saw you come out of the jungle, and that's why you are the jungle bandit. So are you over here? Where, where are you at? I'm just around the corner from you. Wait, are you living in a giant meatball? No, but it looks like a meatball. Now it's cooked meatball. Now that we've done that, we actually need to make this into a real XP farm. <laughs> ah, okay. I've. Now that we've done that, we need to turn this into a real XP farm. So let's head over. It's, this should take barely a second. In theory, this is all that we really need. And then the Zombots will come down here. And then they're ready to be harvested for their sweet, sweet rotten flesh. I mean, XP. In theory, this is all that we basically need. They should come up that water spout, fall down, take some damage, and be ready to be harvested. And I've got myself a little room in here. I mean, it's not pretty, but it should do. So, we take away the light, and away we go. Right, the zombies are piling in. Hey! <laughs> Zombie delivery system. Perfect. Now, we just AFK here for a while. And all should be good. I made some slight alterations just so that uh, my uh, my diamond sword here can get just one, one shot them all. But yeah, this is now done. I've now got enough XP to enchant my diamond pickaxe. So now we can go and do that. Now, where do I want to make it? See, I actually want to create a nice front to the house here. And I think there's like a really nice spot up here to create a window. So I think I want my enchanting room to be up here. I think the easiest way to start this is to actually head up to here, make the window and then make the room the, the, the wrong way. <laughs> so start here and work my way down. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be, that's going to be big enough. Perfect. So, we'll quickly build this. In fact, I might actually do a quick time lapse to show the whole thing being made super quick, and then we can crack on with putting this enchanting table down. The minimal building that I want to do is a hobbit hole, but I kind of want to try and reinvent the hobbit hole. A hobbit hole is only one story tall, but I actually want to see if I can make this entire mountain front feel like a hobbit hole, but also decorate it a bit more. So we'll see how that goes over the next few episodes. There we go. Starter base, front door made. Now, I'm not exactly finished or happy with it, but I want to transform using this vague hobbit holey kind of design. I want to transform transform this whole U shape that I've got here. I really wish I'd put that window just two blocks to the left. Just two. It would have fit. It's just a little bit too close to the moment. I will move it, but probably not today because I think we're pretty much out of time for our first episode. All of this stuff, believe it or not, has taken me a full three days to get started. Man, things are slow right at the beginning. So what we can do while we're here is actually get our first pick enchanted efficiency for uh, that was it ouch 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 because i really really need fortune i really need fortune let's see what we get on here silk touch oh silk touch is efficiency and i'm breaking three that is pretty good now all there is to do is well, I need more XP, so down into the XP farm I go. I'm gonna get what I need enchanted on all of this stuff, but this is a cycle that I'm gonna have to do several times to get exactly what I need. So I think for now, I'm gonna have to say thank you very much for watching. Look, I've got my diamonds waiting. As soon as I have my fortune pickaxe, I'm just gonna boop, and I'm gonna take all of these diamonds and hopefully get more than just three. I've been saving them that are down here for a while. I can't remember where all of them are, but I've basically left most of them exposed so that I can get uh, better enchantments. But for now, what we need to do, we need to get some more zombies going, some more XP, some more enchantments just to get ourselves started. So I want to say a thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see what season seven is going to bring us. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and good.